Hi, Fred from the Laptop Barn here. Today we're going to show you how to change the battery on a Dell Precision 5540 laptop. Tools you'll need, a a Phillips screwdriver, a really small hex tool. That'll be your biggest challenge. You gotta find a, one of those little small Torx hex wrench sets. You need a small one. Um, and a pry tool, you could use a screwdriver if you wanted to. Um, there's a couple of batteries that work in this Precision 5540 model. The larger one there is a 97 watt hour Type 6 GTPY. You also could use the smaller version, the 56 watt hour RRCGW. Either one will work. Uh, the smaller one's a little cheaper, but the bigger one lasts longer, so your choice. I get them on eBay, oh, anywhere from 30 to $60 range. Uh, this particular model does come with the cable built into the battery, so you, in effect, get a new cable to plug to the motherboard there um, with the battery. So, okay, again, tools you'll need are shown in the picture. First thing we're going to do is turn it upside down and we're going to undo the screws on the bottom. These are real small screws. There's two in that little door, trap door there. And those are regular Phillips. These, again, real small. So be careful you don't drop them and lose them because they're hard to replace. One thing, they're small, so only a couple of turns to remove them. So they're quick if you got the right tool get those tools in any hardware it usually comes with a set of different sizes so you just got to find the right size out of the set okay so we're going to go around the perimeter removing these screws so that we can take this bottom cover off once we get the cover off it's kind of snaps in there with some plastic tabs that's where we're going to use the pry tool to help us uh, pry it away from the case Okay, we continue our adventure and get all these little guys again, being real careful where you put them, that you don't drop them or lose one. Okay, now there's uh, two regular Phillips ones inside here. These are a little bit longer screw inside that little door and I'm gonna remove them. Uh, now you're going to, you can use a flathead screwdriver. We've got a special little tool here. All it does is gets in between the um, bottom plate that you've just removed the screws from and the top plate, and just you just got to give it a little assist to pry it a little bit. It's just, it's just held on with um, a couple tabs. Looks like we might not have gotten that one screw totally off. She's hanging up. You don't want to force it because these are just plastic parts. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get the Phillips screwdriver back here. And I think maybe it didn't completely remove the one. There we go. Now uh, we've got it off and that's it. Plastic bottom cover. Now you can see the battery. And this is the big, long 97 watt hour type 6 GTPY. You can see there the difference between them. I have one of each model. That's the 56 watt hour RRCGW is a smaller one. Again, you could use either one. We have a, we're going to put a long one in this one. So there are several screws around the perimeter of the battery. And we're going to unscrew them. This particular battery is something I haven't seen from other battery manufacturers. There's actually a little visual graphic aid printed on the battery with a little arrow showing you where all the screws are to remove the battery. That was awful nice of them to add that. But you can see there's a printing and a, an arrow, and the arrow's pointing to where the screw is that you've got to disassemble in order to remove the battery. So now when you get all the screws, whoops, I didn't follow the pattern. There's one more arrow and one more screw. 
Okay, once you got all the screws off, now the only thing that's left is the cable that connects the battery to the motherboard. It just slides in there. Just, you kind of be careful, though you're not going to reuse it, but it just slides out. There's no uh, fastener or anything. I'm going to use my pry tool just to give it a little assist there. There, it popped right off. Okay, now you've got that battery out. Now get your new battery. The first thing to do there is plug that connector into the motherboard. Again, it just slides on. There's no fasteners. Once you get the pins lined up, you can see you just kind of push on it. It slides right in the track. And once it's snuggled up good, now you put the battery back in and reverse the process of putting those screws in. This time the little arrows on the back of the battery have an arrow pointing to where those screws belong. So if you follow that pattern, you won't miss one. We follow that around the perimeter. There they are, that seven screws. It's a lot of screws to hold this battery in. Maybe over-engineered, but hey. Um, okay. So, those screws, once they are all back in place, we're going to be ready to put the bottom cover back on. And there you go, that's all seven screws. Now we're going to take this bottom cover and it will locate the two long ones in the center. I usually put those on first. Um, screw them down. That'll locate the assembly so that all the other holes in the screw slot should be lined up. So there we have those two. And now we're going to go around being very careful not to drop these little screws because again they're very difficult to find replacements for. They don't find them at an average hardware store. If you were to lose one you'll find people selling them out on eBay. You can buy a screw set. Um, now we're going to button this up in reality, I may, many times, I will actually power that laptop back on before I put this bottom cover on. For demonstration purposes, I'm just going to go ahead and finish putting the bottom cover on. But the reason I would do that is just to test the battery to make sure the battery works and um, that you properly, you know, that it got seated on that connector. All that could possibly do is save you, if you did have a problem, from having to retake this cover off. Again, your choice. It, it's perfectly okay to start the laptop up without this bottom cover on. And, uh, you know, just don't set it on something metal. Um, and you might try that the first time you do it, just to make sure you put the battery in properly. And then you power it down and do this process where we're going to assemble all these screws around the perimeter of the um, laptop. And when you get to the end, hopefully you got enough screws. They do put a few of them in here. Not sure why they use these little screws, but hey, that's the way it was designed. Okay, after you get the last one in, that's all there is to it. You've now successfully installed a new battery in a Dell Precision 5540 laptop. Thanks for watching. Fred from the Laptop Barn here. If you like this, hit the like button. Subscribe to our channel. We come up with new uh, videos all the time with tips and tricks. Thanks again for coming by.